Welcome back to Elden Ring. I was doing some summons here to help other people with Rykard, and I noticed that some semblance of Rykard is just here now. <laughs> Wait, is that someone, like, weeping over them? Or... Are they eating? What are you doing in there? Yeah, I, I think they're eating. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Mm. Our Lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. What the fuck? Dear Rikard, I wish to be one day. Ugh. Allow them some time. Yeah, that's gonna take them months. Years, maybe. <laughs> Let's spend my runes from helping out others and also popping a few runes myself. Can get three levels. My int is high enough for now, I think. I think I should do something else. Um let's get Two in vigor. And one in mind. There's two places I can think of to go in Mount Gelnir. Or in the Volcano Manor. Let's do the first one. That's up this pillar that I never explored. Great. Ooh, look at the sky. Look at those clouds. Wait. Can you actually not get up there this way? Despair. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I would make that jump, even double jumping. I do see a spirit spring. I can't see from here, but when I was down there, there is a spirit spring around the side. But then how... Hmm. Maybe there's some sort of teleport or something. Like, that looks like a battle arena, maybe. Inside of there, where all those birds are. Yeah, you can see over there, there's a side of grace. I can see it sparkling. There's a bridge. Spirit Spring. Not sure. So, like, that's the bridge. How would I get there? Not actually sure how to, like, leave this area. I mean, you might have to go there from, like, somewhere over here and just kind of get at it from this way, maybe? Like, this road looks like it would lead to here, and then from here, there's probably a way to get here. Hmm. Despite how close it is, I think it's actually very far away. Okay, let's try continuing down here past where we got the map fragment. Oh! You need to die fast. Oh right, there's a side of grace down here. I did get this, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I just totally forgot about it.
strong foe required ahead. Fire required ahead. Be wary of skinny sort. Wary of death. Oh, that thing? Why would I be afraid of it? Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm actually quite afraid of that. What the fuck is that? Hello? Shouldn't you be in Bloodborne? I don't think that's gonna reach. No. Let's... It seems quite slow. Let me try to snipe it. Jesus, that thing's horrifying. Oh, my god. Whoa. Okay, it can kind of speed up. Eh, eh, bye. I do not want to know what happens if it, like, gets me in its face thing. <laughs> really is, like, straight up from Bloodborne. Not gonna read that. I realized where it was, and I knew what it would contain. I've fought ten of you at this point. This might be the first one where I can use a horse, though. <laughs> Only, I don't think I want to use a horse. Leaden Hard Tier. Cerulean Hidden Tier. Oh, I'm really curious what those do. Yeah, this archery is dead. Smoking stump.
item ahead? No. Nope. Wait, why'd you kick me off? I'm gonna be invaded, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Anastasia. Tarnished Eater. Sacred Butchering Knife. A great Axe? What? Barbaric Roar. Oh, the special can be changed, though. So I guess it's not that special. Hmm. It's kind of weird. It doesn't require any faith, but it actually scales with faith. Huge carving knife made to cleanly butcher the human body. Signature weapon of the Ogress Anastasia. Known to have eaten countless tarnished while disguised as a finger maiden. Oh, that was a disguise. Restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. Hmm. Surprised it doesn't do bleed. But it does have a special, I guess, just the healing thing. Corpse stench shack, yay. Golden vow. <clears throat> sure that's an incantation. Yep. To these iron virgins. Each one gives me a potion back, so it's fine to use combat on them. Don't need to be super efficient.
So I guess the Iron Virgins maybe did the bulk of this destruction here. Oh, infighting. this. Side of grace, finally. <whistles> Bridge of Iniquity. Hmm. It points to go the other way, I guess. Grace ahead. Oh, <laughs> somebody coming at this from the other side, I think. to the Altus Plateau. meeting. Oh, look at those jumps. like this map fragment. It's probably that one. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, no treasure chest here. Empty cart. Somebody looted it, I guess. Ooh. Pretty. hearing I heard something really cursed down there there it is again it's like demonic whispering slash whimpering I wonder if I could jump down to that spirit spring possibly but I'd rather not try I'm sure there's better ways down that pulsating undulating blood sack Sounds like it's down there. Wait. Oh, I thought I saw a face on the tree or something. I don't know what it is. There's the sack. Writhe blood ruins. Yep, there's some writhing blood. <clears throat> if I remember right, fire's are really... Or, I, whoa. Whoa. I've heard fire's really good against these things. I don't think I've actually tried it. I do have the beast repellent torch, but... I think a safer bet is probably the Naginata. Can I one hand that now? Yes, I can. And it has a flame of remembrance, but it also does fire damage. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Thought the flame would go over a wider area, though. Can I hold it down? Nah, it seems the same either way. This thing's not upgraded very well. Yeah, it's only plus 11. Oh, pupper. I think it's the ideal damage type, but how bad would it be if I did this? Oh, that's so much better. C 
six thin beast bones came from that thing. That thing had bones? I guess from things that it had swallowed rather than, like, itself having bones. Demonic Whispering's even closer now. something there on that stone. ahead? Oh no. Be wary of blood loss. Damn, that was easy. Bloody Hellas. Takes arcane, causes blood loss build up. It's a heavy thrusting sword. The special is Dynast's Finesse. Ominous piercing sword with a winding blade, carried by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. Designed to bore into flesh, causing severe blood loss at the wound. The extracted blood trickles gracefully down the length of the blade. Dynast's Finesse. Nimbly avoid an attack, securing some distance from foes. Follow up with strong attack to perform a sudden lunge, and press strong attack again to perform a sweeping slice. Just want to take an aside for a second and just say, whoever wrote the description for this did not write the description for the Serpent's Blade. Instead of saying, follow up with an upward thrust via additional input, this one actually says, press strong attack again. Much more clear. Yes, I'm still annoyed about that. Um, oh, that sounds really cool, but I just don't have arcane. Also means I probably wouldn't be able to use this special, but let's see. Maybe. Oh, it's so nasty looking. Strong attack. Special. Oh no, we can see the special. Oh, that is so cool. So yeah, that's the nimbly avoid an attack. Get some distance. Follow up with a strong attack to do that. Did it say follow up again with another strong attack? Let me see. One strong attack, second, third, yeah. Yeah, a normal, like, a normal strong attack just does this thrust. 
So this. Special to get back. Strong attack to do that. Strong attack again to do that. Like, double thing. That is so cool. That is really cool. Oh, I wish I could use that. I really don't like these noises. So, came from over there, going this way. A lot of patrolling groups. Oh, a couple of giants carrying a carriage. Probably has some loot in the back. Haven't seen those in a long time. That's since the beginning area of the game, actually. Trying not to kill any sheep here. empty too. those poor things out of their misery. Do the treasure chests in these things always have flails? Because I remember... Near the beginning, we got a flail from a treasure chest from the back of one of these as well. Not the one that was moving, I don't think. Or maybe that had a different, a different flail. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's take a look at that flail. Oh, it's a great hammer. I saw the spikes and thought it was a flail. 
endure is the special, but it can be changed. Takes 22 strength, causes blood loss buildup. Huge bludgeon with three stars at the striking end, though primarily a striking weapon, the star spikes cause blood loss. A bloodstained star is an ill omen, a fact not lost upon those against whom this weapon is brought to bear. Landing attacks slightly restores HP. can jump up further than Tord can. It's a spirit spring that I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we can definitely get to that one. And I also think I found the source of the noise. Yeah, it's that thing. It looks like the same thing that we fought before. Maybe smaller, possibly? Or maybe it's just sitting down. I can't tell. So they make those horrible noises. I want to go down to that one. That one doesn't seem to have anything on it. And I wouldn't be able to get back up. Oh, it's so foggy now. Can I? Yeah, totally. Trying to grab the herbs and stuff that are here, because some of them only appear here, like the Altus... What are they called? Altus blooms or something? It's up here. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I can make that last one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I can work with this. Oh, yes.
West Windmill Pasture. Aw. That windmill's seen better days, that's for sure. Still cute, though. Oh, giant rat ashes. Do they have names? Spirits that do not require FP to summon. Oh, the rat spirits appear at a distance from the summoner, swarming upon their victim to start the fight. Even as spirits, these vermin seem to multiply endlessly. Enhancing these ashes can increase their numbers. Oh, you can get even more. <laughs> I wonder if you max it out, how many can you get? Such a pretty and odd thing to see in these extremely hostile, messed up lands. Oh, there's a bunch more too. These might respawn infinitely, I'm not sure. Just having fun. They sound a little maniacal, but okay, they kind of look like zombies. First off, joy, but time for destruction. <laughs> time for brief respite. <laughs> I mean, are they even going to try to attack me? Oh, I do not like how they look. But I'm not going to attack them unless they attack me. <laughs> Be wary of head. And then they duck down. To avoid this. Oh. Giant ahead. Try close quarters battle. What? Uh, 
Okay. Even that doesn't ruin their fun. Yeah, no need to attack him at all. Twinned Knight Swords. Ooh. Noble's garb, gloves, trousers, and that hood looks really pretty. <gasps> Ooh. Destruction is really not needed. Unlike what that one note said. Okay, let's look at the sword first. Twinned Knight Swords. It's a bit of a dex weapon. 18 dex, 16 strength. It's a twin blade. Those are pretty rare. Attractive twin blade of fine make that prizes the chivalric way. <laughs> Can be wielded with a single hand, but its true strength is unlocked with dual-handed spinning attacks. I'll take a look at the armor when we get to another Sight of Grace, which, speaking of which, it's been forever since we've seen a Sight of Grace. You look interesting. Oh, oh my God, another full set of armor. Battle Mage. Right, came down over there. Friend. They're looking up at the tree. Oh. Praise the stars. Yeah, the map shows that being a path. But it is not. And that's where the map fragment is. Okay, I'm going to keep pushing ahead because I feel like there must be a Site of Grace nearby. Because it's been so long since I've seen one. I do want to head down and get the map fragment, but yeah, I want a Site of Grace first or something.
Horse death. Very true. <laughs> I love messages that are just like, yep, that's what this is. Tree. Dead horse. Check down here. Oh, these are the same kind of people that were dancing before. Are you going to attack me on site? Oh, yes, you are. They're basically witches. This is going to lead to the map fragment. Still, though, no sight of Grace. I wonder if that was a con conscious decision, like this part of the game, this location, is meant to be accessed later, and it's meant to be harder, so there's not as many sights of Grace. Yeah, let's just go for the map fragment right now. some cursed mist woods again. Oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> I'm not I'm not looking. I saw I see things not looking. Going for the map fragment. Oh, this place is horrible. Bower of Bounty. Let's get another one of Dex. Oh, shit. Uh, pathways over here. Yeah. you the person from the round table hold out like the first person we met who could take our incantation books there we go ah 
Now it'll be a lot easier to navigate. Ah, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. Tell the noble gold mask's whereabouts. Who's gold mask? Do, do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. Cool, don't know what I just did. Okay, so it actually says on the map. Yeah, gold mask is the person we just met on the bridge. They did have a gold mask. I guess I didn't really pay that much attention to it. The one staring at the earth tree. I guess they're a cleric? Perhaps? Now I kind of want to go back there. Now that I've told them about it, are they going to appear there? Is that part of a quest or something? Let's take a look at the new tiers that we got. Oh, leaden. Leaden hard tier. Temporarily boosts poise in mixed physic. Ah, that makes sense. And I think the other one was Cerulean Hidden Tier. Eliminates... Oh, wait. Eliminates all FP consumption in Mixed Physic? Ooh. For how long? So I could just cast spells without regard for how much FP it, casts? Or it costs? Of course, mind you, that has nothing to do with uh, stamina. My stamina is not going down, so I can just keep shooting. I think it's already worn off. Yeah, okay. So it's quite a limited time, like maybe 10 seconds. So you really have to have like, you got to use it right when you're about to use a bunch of a really expensive spell, which, hmm. Well, I would need to be in combat to see my stamina go down. But I know from past experience that I'll maybe only use half of my FP bar before I run out of stamina and then I have to wait. So I don't know how terribly useful that is unless I can find a spell that does a lot of damage but is also like incredibly draining on FP or something. Maybe I already have one and I just haven't used it because of that. That could be really good in the right situation but I'm not sure how to utilize that. Let's take a look at the new armor that we got. So we got this blue one which... Yeah, it's kind of just like a differently skinned version of the red one. Very pretty, though, just like the red one. What was the other head thing? Oh, I think it was the Haima Glintstone Crown. Yeah, no, thank you. Again, I just don't like covering up my hair. I like this. For the main thing, we have the Battle Mage robe. Mm, quite baggy. I like the little book dangling in the back. That's cool. Yeah, not my thing, though. Noble's Traveling Garb. Now that is very pretty. It's very elegant. Obviously, the Greaves look really weird with it, but ignore that. How about the bracelets? Don't remember what they were. I, well, Noble's Gloves definitely was one of them. Hmm. Yeah, open way too wide. But if I paired that with this, that looks a lot better. And what was the other one? Battle Mage Manchettes. Yeah, just dirty bandages. No, thank you. And then for this, Battle Major Leg Wraps. Also nasty, just a bunch of dirty bandages. But Noble Trousers. Can't really see those. Let me switch this. Hmm. It's pretty. 
Traveling attire fashioned from metallic white silk thread, worn by a expatriated royalty. A gift of such rare beauty, a royal wouldn't disgrace their illustrious heritage even if found dead in a ditch in the middle of nowhere while wearing such splendid raiment. Yeah, I decided to go with my old clothes. And it looks like they do have a new visitor, don't they? Gold mask. Hey. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble gold mask himself and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly, such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. So, about the gold mask. The master is always deep in contemplation. While I frantically attempt to record his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom, I know that this, this is my life's calling. The Golden Order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. May the Golden Order shine through you. We already visited this little village here. It's barely on the map, really. But let's look at this larger village up here. I went to it by accident because I thought it was the smaller village. And then I'd already been here, but no, it is not. It is Dominula Windmill Village. And I saw a sight of grace just at the entrance. Just having fun. They're so happy here, but then just down there, they try to murder me on sight. Hmm, that points in this direction. Already been down there. Ooh, is there something here? Celebrant's skull club. Mm, great hammer. Eighteen strength, twelve dex. Large bludgeon decorated with flowers and many colored fabrics. Ceremonial tool used by dancers during the festivities of Dominula, Windmill Village. The striking end is a skull too large in size to be human. Grants trace amounts of runes on landing attacks. Hmm, we've gotten a lot of weapons recently that give you trace amounts of HP and now runes. It's becoming a theme. Don't give up, horse. Oh. Whoa. These ones just over here are not happy. Why? Why are some so ecstatic and others want to kill me?
Hey, sneaky one. Ah! Some of them just really are not enjoying the party. new. What did they just do? I saw an explosion of blood? You're big. God's can apostle. Godskin Peeler. <laughs> Scouring Black Flame. It's an, yep, incantation. Hmm. Not the Stitcher, it was Peeler. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a Twin Blade. Black Flame Tornado. It... Actually doesn't take anything other than strength and dex. It's a bit of a dex weapon. Unique twin blade wielded by Godskin Apostles characterized by its disturbing design. One end features a sickle for slicing attacks, while the other boasts a winding spike for boring into flesh. Much skill is required to wield this weapon due to its asymmetric nature. That sounds really cool. And I totally can use it. Uh, what? Is this another one of those misaligned ones? Where are you actually? <laughs> oh, here it is. What? Bizarre. It's an illusion designed to slightly annoy you. Much better two-handed, of course. Looks really cool. And the special. I wonder how much damage that does. The weapon's intriguing. It would be very hard to beat this weapon special, though, Nebula.
Hey, birds. Gold firefly. Might be the first one of those I found. Oh. Right, I did have another picture place I was supposed to find. I just stumbled upon it. Fire's deadly sin. Man, incantations would be so cool. Like, some of these just look so cool. Sets area and self ablaze with raging flames. How cool is that? Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore more of the Altus Plateau.